Hi guys, Rowan here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my September TBR list. Now for those of you that are wondering why I'm wearing a fox hat and a big frumpy sweater, it is freezing in my house. Like, it's freezing balls in here and I have no idea why, and I'm really cold and I'm hoping my teeth don't start chattering halfway through this video. Alright, so majority of my TBR list are actually books I'm hoping to be getting from the library. Most of them are from last month or September because hold lists are killer at the public library because they hate me and for some reason they never agree to put me at the top of the list even though I am a wonderful customer with a great history of only sometimes keeping books way longer than I should be. Look at this smile. How could, how could anybody resist it? The only book that's coming out this month that I actually want to read is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. This book is about a girl who apparently gets to jump through parallel universes. I, I don't know much about it, but I really like parallel universes and time travel and everything like that. Uh, I realize you guys can't see the rest of my room, but it's all decorated in Doctor Who stuff. I am so into that. I love it. And I love that concept, and I'm really, really excited to read this one. I do not like, though, that who I'm sure is going to end up being the love interest. His name is Paul. Paul. I think that is a yucky, awful, unattractive name. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to hate him because of it. Shallow, yes, but true. The rest of the books on my list are ones I'm expecting to get from the library late, but I will still be getting them. The first one's going to be Dorothy Must Die by D.M. Page. I've heard a lot of great things about this one. I was really hoping to get it in time for Halloween because I've heard it's really good and kind of like a good Halloween time book. I obviously did not, but I'm still going to read it anyways and I've heard really good things about it and I really like The Wizard of Oz. It used to be my favorite when I was younger. I've grown out of that, thank goodness, and into better things. Doctor Who. Game of Thrones, awesome things, but I still am kind of excited for hopefully a bit of nostalgia, although I've heard it's really nothing like the movie or anything, it's darker, so that's even more exciting. The next book I want to read is another one I was hoping to get by Halloween, Half Bad by Sally Green. This one is supposedly about witches, and I really like witches. <laughs> I, again, did not get in time for Halloween, but I've been wanting to read this one anyway, so hopefully I'll be getting it soon. The next book is one that actually came out at the end of October, and that's Talon by Julie Kagawa. And I started reading the Iron Fae, I think is the name of the series, you know, with Ash and the girl and all the Shakespeare Midsummer Night Dream whatever stuff, and I really liked it. I haven't finished it, but I thought it was really great. And so I'm excited to start this because I love dragons. I love dragons so much and I'm really really excited. I'm hoping I get this one soon. The waitlist, I got on it super early when they first like put it on the website that they were going to be getting it. So I'm thinking sometime this week. The next book is one that also came out last month and that's Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash, I think is her last name. I'm really excited to read this one too. It's supposedly a high fantasy where there's four different kingdoms all that represent the um, seasons. And there's magic and a quest and I'm excited. I, basically, the word fantasy or magic has to be in the synopsis and I'm, I'm all over that. I'm so all over it. It's not even funny. My hat's falling down. The next book is once again another one that came out last month. I just, I always get them like a month late because I have to wait. And that is The Young Elites by Marie Lu. I loved her legend books. I actually don't own any of them, which makes me really sad. I've got a spot on my shelf over there, like, perfect for them. I just have yet to buy them because I've been pre-ordering and I have no money to spend on all the books I want. Oh, Christmas is coming up, though. Maybe I'll ask for them. Anyways, I really want to read this one. It seems kind of more fantasy-ish than dystopian, which not that I have a problem with that because legend was great, but I... As you guys all know, because I've said it a million times, I like fantasy more. So I'm hoping that it will be really good, and it sounds like there's going to be a really cool heroine, and I kind of like that she's disfigured and gritty. I'm very, very excited for this one. I hope there's not a love triangle. There's no love triangle in the Legends series, so I hope she knows what she's doing. We'll see. The next book I want to read is Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White. This one should be arriving from the library soon, and I saw the word magic, so I ordered it. That's 
that's literally like all I know about this book and it has a really pretty cover the cover looks really good and I shouldn't order just from the cover but I have the cover and the word magic so that right there good enough reason to pre-order in my opinion Ooh, and then actually I just ordered from book outlet her dark curiosity by Megan Shepard which is the second one uh, the sequel to The Madman's Daughter, which I read October, and I loved it, and I ordered this one from Book Outlet. I will have a book haul coming up soon, or an unboxing video or something, because I ordered a lot of stuff from Book Outlet. And I got the hardcover of it for like five bucks. Thank you. I'm very, very excited. So I will be reading that one this month when I get it, and hopefully it is just as spooky and terrifying as the first one. The last books I'm planning on reading are actually a series I have really needed to read for a while and I have them all from the library right here so I might start them soon. It's just I gotta get the ball rolling and it's hard with all these new books that I'm supposed to be getting from the library soon. But I actually own the first one and that is Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. And I have right here the second one from the library, Fire Study, and the third one from the library, Magic Study. And she announced that she will be writing a fourth book to the series. I think technically it's a whole new series, but it's technically like a fourth book. I don't really know. I haven't finished these, so I was trying not to look into the fourth one because I don't want to get spoilers. So I want to bust these babies out because I know they're going to be great. I love the first one. And hopefully I'll have a little bit extra time that I can finish them this month because I've been putting it off. Alright, so those are the books I'm wanting to read for September. Hopefully the library doesn't hate me and I get all of them on time and I love all of them. I'll be doing reviews probably for most of them and maybe some book talk videos if they are any good. So yes, that is all for this video. I am going to go pull my fox hat down over my face and snuggle in my nice warm bed and try not to freeze to death.